Hi, welcome. I'm Juliet Wolf Robin. I'm the National Executive Director for American Photographic Artists. APA is a national association of professional photographers run by and for photographers. And we're here today to just give, uh, uh, we're gonna do monthly updates about some of the programming that we have going on. Our mission is to create a diverse and inclusive photographic community that supports photographers in both still and motion at all levels of their career. We advocate on behalf of all photographers as we look to educate and elevate the community. We are a not-for-profit association. We make decisions based on the interest of our members, which is why it's important that you join APA if you're not already a member or why it's important to have your membership and also to voice your interest or concerns to us because we do respond since that's what we're here to do. APA is made of a national board. We also have chapters. There's eight regional chapters. Each chapter has its own board of directors and national has a board of directors. Each chapter sends somebody from their board, their chair to a national meeting each month so that we can um, discuss the direction of APA. So if you are, no matter where you are in the country, you are part of the national association, but you are also um, directed to a regional chapter and that regional chapter may or may not be geographically near where you are, but they are helping to um, distill information out there and provide you with uh, information about your benefits. But no matter where you are in the country, you can take advantage of any of the APA benefits that any chapter or national provides. Um, we recently launched an APA connected community, your same password, username and password that you use for your APA account gets you onto the APA connected community. It's apaconnectedcommunity.org. You can also get to it from your APA website. That is a private community for APA members to be able to share information, discuss topics that are important to you as a photographer, um, share resources, find out information um, either about advocacy, education, anything that you want to know about. Um, there's some questions currently about dam systems and <laughs> printing fine art. So I think uh, really we want to encourage everybody to take advantage of that, to log on and be part of that community so you can hear what's happening. Uh, today we have with us some of the, the directors from the various chapters. We have Polly Gaillard, who uh, works on national communications and social media for APA. So if you have any, anything you want to promote, work that you've done recently, an award that you've won, um, send it to Polly at apanational.org and she can help put that out there so that other people know what you're up to. Um, we have uh, Steve Brooks, who's a membership rep. So if you have questions about your membership, uh, you want to uh, change the level of membership, change the, the, the billing system, anything that you need to do, or you want to buy a media ID card for $20 so that you can save hundreds of dollars when you're taking your gear through the airport, you can do that through the website and you have a question about getting that card faster, you can contact Steve on that. Um, we have with us uh, Patty Silverstein, who is, who's with the APA LA chapter. Steve Brooks is the director of the APA Chicago chap chapter. Liam Clickinger is the director of APA San Francisco. Debbie Gilbert is APA New York director. And Wendy Fisk is the director for APA San Diego. So I'm going to give them each a chance to give information about some of the exciting programming that they have coming up locally. And of course, you can always reach out to us for questions. So Debbie, do you wanna give the update about New York? You're on mute. Um, sure, can I share screen? It says uh, you've disabled share screen. Uh, yes. So I should have mentioned that before we got started. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't, I didn't think anybody was sharing our screen. Sorry about that. It's okay. okay. Go ahead. Okay. Um, you can see? Yes. Okay. Um, let me get this started. Okay. So upcoming events. Uh, 
On March 22nd, we have an in-person event at Soho Photo Gallery here in New York City in Tribeca. It's called Soho Photo Gallery, but it's in Tribeca confusing. Um, but it's going to be a fantastic event with Thomas Werner doing a talk and a book signing. The talk is free. You can buy the book uh, and have him sign it there. Um, so someday uh, your great grandkids can go to the Antiques Roadshow and say, you know, take it and we'll put them through college or something because it's signed. Um, then we have on March 28th, we have a screening at the School of Visual Arts. And uh, this is a fan fabulous documentary about Saul Leiter, who is a little known, I would say little known, among photographers, he's well well known, but he was known for fashion. He shot for fashion magazines, but he was also a, an iconic street photographer. And this documentary was made about him shortly before he passed away. And we've gotten permission to screen it at the School of Visual Arts. And that just went up today. And so we've started taking reservations for the seats. Um, this one's not listed yet, but it will be happening on March 30th. It's a talk with Beth Galton, a fabulous um, still life photographer, food photographer, and she will be talking about concepts and process and also the marketing of food photography. Uh, also, we have these, we aren't listed yet, but they're coming. March 19th, we have <coughs> coffee talk, and now we know uh, it's a casual thing. We all get together and you don't have to have coffee. You can have tea, you can have soda. Um, but I know everyone's doing a coffee talk, every organization, but, and I, so I thought we should be doing jello shots and body surfing, but I was outvoted. So we will be doing coffee talk on March 19th. It's probably gonna be a monthly event. Um, and on April 3rd, we have Mixum, and a lot of people haven't heard of them. It's a print on demand publisher along the lines of Blurb, uh, but from what I've seen, the quality is much better and the price is less. And so I contacted them, asked them if they would give a talk about self publishing and how to use their platform, best practices. And so they'll be giving a talk on Zoom, so everyone in the in the in the world can uh, can watch it. And April 30th, we're going on a sunrise photo walk to Marine Park, which is this protected park wildlife refuge. Um, and remains to be seen if people actually show up at sunrise. And we'll, but, but we have the the uh, the park uh, uh, you know official giving us a little preview and then we're gonna be photographing the park. And so we have other things too, but these are what we have coming up in the immediate in the immediate future. That's great. Thank you. It's nice to see in person happening again. So yes. thank you very much. Yes. Um, Liam Clickinger for San Francisco. Could you want to update what San Francisco's got? Sure. Yes. Hello, everybody. I don't have a um, super fancy official presentation to share. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Debbie. It looks great. Um, all those events sound amazing, too. Um, we in San Francisco are just kind of getting the ball rolling again with our monthly set events, Second Experimental Tuesday. This is a um, fairly uh, casual um, type event that has kind of spanned all kinds of different topics. Uh, currently, next week, um, March 14th, is um, uh, Gear Talk, all things uh, related to equipment, uh, especially local resources um, in the Bay Area where to buy and, and sell and rent um, equipment. So we'll have some of the local vendors showing up to um, just kind of recap what resources are available to us here in the Bay Area. So those will be um, continuing every second Tuesday of the month at different locations, sometimes studios, sometimes it's a bar night, things like that. Um, otherwise, we're also trying to keep the ball rolling with social events. We had a bar night last month that was um, that was super fun at the Royale in San Francisco. So we're trying to keep those going um, as well. Lastly, we recently just um, gathered some intel from our local members on what kinds of events they want us to do, which was really fascinating to hear. And so we're going to take the top three responses from that survey and put together some, uh, some new programming coming soon. So stay tuned for those. Great. Thank you very much. That sounds wonderful. Um, Patty Silverstein, do you want to update about APA Los Angeles? You're on mute. No, I'm not, right? Nope, you're okay. good now. <laughs> um, thank you, Juliet. And um, yes, APALA, 
we just launched our big contest off the clock and um, we're thrilled this year. Our curator is Darius Himes, the international head of photographs at Christie's. So um, I'm gonna put the link for the call for entries in the chat area. So anyone that wants to submit, feel free. It's a wonderful contest. Um, we he will pick the hundred his hundred favorite images and of those hundred he'll select three best in show and the three best in show people will get a beautifully custom printed matted and framed image they will also get one free portfolio review at our upcoming portfolio review probably the fall one not the one that's coming in the spring so um, as I said, I will put the link in chat. We have our second Sunday events. Um, it's just an informal meetup at a bar in Atwater here called Club TG. So open to everyone, members and non-members. It's just a really relaxed just time for people to connect. Everyone's looking forward to being with each other again and being in person. And um, yeah, there's some great friendships and connections that have already started. So um, this one is this Sunday, March 12th, happens to be Oscar day, but um, we're gonna do it anyway. We did it uh, Super Bowl Sunday and people actually showed up. So second Sunday. Um, spring portfolio review that will be virtual. It's May 13th, Saturday. And um, that's APA members, um, associate level and above. And um, we are working on putting together other events, some speaker events, um, a motion event. So just watch our website and follow us on Instagram and you'll be in the know. Great. Thank you very much. Thank Wendy you. Wendy Fisk, San Diego. So yeah, we're, uh, we recently returned to in-person events starting uh, in January. We had a speaker event with Dan Winters. And then since then, we're moving forward with these peer-to-peer -peer critique events, which we're doing bi-monthly, where we offer, basically, we open it up to five photographers to submit a project or something that they'd like to present to their peers. And then we do sort of just a kind of in-person critique session where a lot of people come who just want to observe and, and watch people present their work and talk about their work. It ranges from students to emerging through professionals, whoever wants to share a project, everyone's welcome and open to do so. And so we basically limit um, it to five so we can have a nice quality session. And we had a really great one last month in February and our next one's scheduled for April 19th. Uh, we have those we're going to be moving around to different parts of, of San Diego to accommodate many of our members for um, those who live a little bit further away and we're hoping to possibly take those to other parts of um, possibly Texas or even Arizona in the future where we can get other members involved or even maybe possibly doing one again online. Um, it's a really great opportunity for members to just connect meet each other um, that we have even people from LA um, from from um, you know, LA membership that have come down to, to you know, take part in these. It's just a really great opportunity for people to get feedback on projects and they're generally personal work, um, but people can submit anything. And it's just really great to get people to talk about their work, get some feedback from peers, especially prior to a portfolio review or putting their work in front of a potential client. Um, so we really like these and we're, um, we recently brought these back. We're also moving to do some social things so we can have something happening every month for our members. So we're also, planning an event possibly on March 15th. It'll just be a meetup. We're gonna have just kind of a, we call it beers with peers. And um, we just meet at different places around uh, San Diego area where we get people an opportunity to come and meet people and just chat about photography and what's going on and make good connections. Great, thank you very much. Mike Morgan, APA DC. Uh, hi, uh, yeah, we've got a, a mix of uh, in-person and online events in DC. Um, uh, there's three events that we do, um, you know, on repeat every month. Um, one is a happy hour, an in-person happy hour. Um, this month, we're doing that on March 16th at St. Vincent Wine in D.C. And then we do um, 
Uh, on March 23rd is another one of our regular monthly events where we feature one of our members. Um, it's a free online event. Um, it's called 30 Minutes With. And this month um, we'll be featuring Hanalei Lati, who's um, a National Geographic photographer and who you know, now does um, advertising and um, uh, you know, uh, commercial work. Um, so we'll, we'll be having that March 23rd. Then we've got a coffee break that uh, I think someone mentioned uh, <laughs> coffee breaks a little bit ago. We have our coffee break um, that we're doing monthly and that's um, just a monthly meetup uh, at the National Portrait Gallery in DC. And uh, we start doing themes. This one will be a photo book meetup. So people will bring photo books to share and talk about. Uh, then our in-person uh, events that we've got coming up, we've got a photo assistant workshop that's on April 1st. And that'll be a, an all day event at um, York Studios, uh, just in Maryland. And um, then we've got an online event in April. That's an evening with Art Stryber. Um, so we're really looking forward to that. He's gonna be a, a, a great speaker. And uh, May, we're looking forward to a couple of things. We've got uh, our annual field trip to the Glenstone Museum, which is um, it's one of the largest uh, private art collections uh, in the country. It's an incredible museum if you've never been there. Uh, I would highly recommend coming to that. That's free for APA members. And uh, we'll also be launching our uh, LGBTQ IAP plus grant. Um, so that'll be that'll be launching uh, in June, and um, and we're looking forward to doing that. It'll be the second year that we've done that. All right. Thank you. Right. Thank you, Steve Brooks, APA Chicago. You're on mute. Uh, hey everyone, Steve with APA Chicago. Thanks, Juliet. Um, we currently have four virtual events on the schedule right now. Uh, three of those events are in a, a new series we're calling Ask Me Anything. Um, and we're going to focus on bringing art buyers, art producers from the agency community to um, our community. So you guys can ask any questions you have about commercial photography production um, at these events. And actually, the first one is tonight with Karen Blatchford, who is a senior art buyer producer with VMLY&R. Uh, she's um, been around the agency world a long time and has tons of knowledge um, regarding what's happening with uh, commercial photography production. Um, and then on March 20, we have Mike Bilbury with Leo Burnett, who will be taking your questions. And then on April 3rd, We'll be with Kimberly Nussbaum, who is a freelance producer, um, been with a lot of major agencies throughout her career, and again, just have a wealth of knowledge regarding um, how agencies hire photographers, how you can get hired by agencies. So this is your chance to attend um, any one of these three uh, Ask Me Anything um, events or uh, attend them all. Uh, they are for APA members only. So we hope you will join APA and attend any or all of those three events. Then on March 16th, we have a Keeping the Passion Alive series that will look at um, passion projects to keep you engaged with your commercial work. So I, I know a lot of, um, sometimes we go a lot, of, a lot of hills and valleys in our career. And uh, what, one way to keep us on an even keel is to make sure we're shooting our own projects. And so we're going to be speaking with uh, Christian Rodriguez, uh, Sean Alonzo Harris, and Teresa Meyer on on how they uh, how they use passion work and projects to keep themselves engaged uh, in their commercial work. And that's and all those um, almost all those events are on our website right now. So if you're interested in in registering, you can find them there. Great, thank you. Yes, on um, any event should be on apanational.org. They're on the chapter uh, websites. They we have on social media listed. And um, a reminder also, every APA member has uh, images that they can post on Hire an APA Pro. If you need help with either your image selection or your bio that you're putting on the site or anything, again, Polly can help you with that, direct you um, to how to set that up or edit or however, whatever you need to look at that. Um, there's member benefits that are listed on each chapter site, but then also on national 
under member benefits and you can get discounts with a lot of partners, APA partners for studios, rental equipment, purchasing equipment, programs that you need, uh, bidding programs, anything that you're doing for your business, you can probably find a discount for it on the APA website. So be sure to check there before you make purchases in the community. Um, we will be do hosting these every month to give updates about things that are happening. Uh, please feel free to reach out to us. Does anybody else have anything else they'd like to add? Um, Julia, we have the scope event coming up um, in March the 13th in conversation with Liz Miller Gershfeld. And then we have uh, our legal lounge event with Stephen Doniger on March the 14th, social media and online infringements. Great, see, lots going on. Just gotta check them out. Most of these are, they're either free or at least free to members, or if they do charge, they are less for members than they are for non-members. So um, be sure to go to the events page, see what's happening, don't miss out, email us, let us know how you need to get information or get access to anything that you need, we're, we're here for the community. So thank you very much. Thank you for that, Polly. Okay, anything else? We're out. All right, thank you. Have a good day. Bye. Bye.